Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Maven in Spring Boot to create a JAR file that can be deployed to a web server. My name is Shad Sluter and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University, so I welcome you to join me in class. In this particular course we're learning a whole bunch of things and we're on part one which is still about the introduction to Spring Boot, but you can see there's a lot more coming. So what we're trying to create here is a JAR file, which is like the deployable version of an app. And so we're going to use Maven to create this. So we're going to start with our Hello World app that was created in a previous tutorial, and then we're going to deploy this. So the hope is that once you learn how this Maven process works and creating a JAR file, that you can create more sophisticated things than Hello World. But this will provide a, a great way to look at the example. So let's get started with the code. So what you see on the screen now is the uh, application that was Hello World. So it consists of a single text file in HTML format. Now, how do you make Maven generate a Java jar file? The first thing I want to point out to you is a file over here in the left column called the POM file, P-O-M-X-M-L. Let's open it up and take a look at the contents. So POM is an acronym for Project Object Model. So it defines all the dependencies that are in your project and also how it's deployed. So you can see right away a couple of things that are pretty obvious. So here at the top you can see all these items that are about the, the project title and about the framework that we're working with. Java version 11 is an important line number. We're going to note that. So I have Java, Java 11 installed in my computer and that's what I'm compiling to. Yours doesn't have to match exactly this if you have a different version installed. In the previous video, we installed a project that had several dependencies. So these dependencies include Timeleaf and the startup project and some de development tools. So all of these were checked as options when we created the project, and this is where they were included in the dependency manager in the POM file. So next I'm going up to the Run menu. And of course we would normally choose Run here, but let's choose this option called run configurations and see what that brings up. So let's go down to the section called Maven build and see what we have going on there. So these are the instructions for how to manage a Maven build and we're going to go through these steps. First of all it says we want to create a new configuration. So up here in the top, top left corner we're going to click the little paper that is for new. So now we have a new configuration. So let's change a few of the configuration options here. So let's start at the top where it has the name. So let's describe what this configuration is. We're trying to build the Hello World app. So that's what we'll put in there. Then we're going to have the base directory. So you don't have to know how to type out the directory, but you can find it. So I click the button called Workspace and then select the item that we are on, which is Activity 1.1. When I click OK, it fills in the workspace for us. Then the goal. So the goal is either things like clean the project, rebuild the project, deploy the project, test the project. Those are all different kind of goals. But right now we're going to put in the word clean, which means essentially throw away anything that's compiled and recreate it. So if something was misconfigured or miscompiled, clean is usually a way to fix things up. So we're cleaning house. Now let's go down to the bottom where it says apply, and then I'm going to choose run. Let's see what happens in the console. So there were some things that floated by in the console. Let's bring them up here and see what's going on. So now I've got the uh, console message that says that there was a success. So what did it do? It did a clean event and it said build success. So it cleaned out whatever issues were wrong with my program and uh, the clean is done and no problems. Now clean isn't very useful. We actually want to use Maven to package something and deploy it. So let's do another configuration that will do exactly that. First of all, let's go back to the POM file. So I'm going to find the section where the build uh, bracket is. So that's near the bottom of the page. Inside of there, I'm going to put in a new tag. This one's called final name. And this is going to tell us what file name is going to be used when we package this material. So name it anything you want. I'm going to call mine Hello World, because that's an obvious name for this package. So let's go back into the run configurations again, and uh, we're going to work with the same one here. 
So I'm going to change the goal from clean to the word package. And let's choose apply and then run. So it's going to run now and let's uh, see what the console has to say this time. So I'm going to scroll up a bit and we have a little bit longer message now. So we are downloading a bunch of things. It looks like it's building and uh, we're still waiting to see what comes out. All right, so finally after three minutes and 14 seconds, it says build success. And uh, you can see that it downloaded a whole bunch of stuff. So everything that was in my dependency list has now been downloaded and bundled into a file. The file is supposed to be here in the target window or the target folder. However, I don't see anything in there. So maybe we need to do a refresh. So let's do a right click and look for refresh. So when we choose refresh, target now has all kinds of stuff in it. So we have a hello world jar file. So this is the key idea. This is the guy that's ready to, do, to run on a server that has Java. So we can take this jar file now and give it to another computer, another user somewhere else, and they'll be able to run hello world for themselves. So let's see if we can get to it. So I'm going to right click, choose show in, and I'm looking for the system explorer. So system explorer tells you a folder. Now let's see, my folder shows up over here on this monitor. And so there it is. So I am now in the folder called target. So if I right click on it, you can see that the topic one is where my project is and the target is where the compiled files are. So this is the guy, hello world jar. Now I want to run this from the terminal. So on the Macintosh, I can just look for the word terminal. And so a terminal window appears. Let's see if I can drag that in as well. So if you're on a Windows computer, the terminal is the command prompt. So you type in CMD, uh, just like I did, uh, and you're trying to get something to run. So the command prompt or the terminal. All right, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So I want to be able to check to see if I have Java on my computer. So I just type in Java, and let's see. I think version is the keyword that will tell me what I'm running. So I have version 16 on my computer, and... This jar file was compiled, I think, to version 11, as, as I recall. So since 16 is newer than 11, it should be able to run it. Now, I want to be able to navigate to this folder. So if I type in PWD, or Present Working Directory, that'll tell me what folder I'm in. For you Windows people, you type DIR to see what directory you're in. Now, this here is not the folder I want, so I'm going to try to navigate to this one. So I want to move up one folder so I can see the target. I'm going to type CD and a space and then drag target over to here and it spells out a very long line and I'm going to press enter. Now when I type in present working directory I have the full pathway. So now the command to run this is Java and then I type in a jar with a hyphen in it and then I type in the name of it. So if I type in H-E-L-L -L, and then I press tab the autocomplete fills it out. So I'm typing Java hyphen jar, hello world jar, and pressing enter. Now, just like when you run something from the uh, IDE, the Eclipse editor, you'll get this spring uh, alert that tells you that something's running. And so now we've got ourselves Tomcat, it looks like, that's being fired up. And what else is happening? Uh, hello world printed here, just like it did in the previous example. And uh, we should have something listening on port 8080. So right here, it says Tomcat is initialized on 8080. Let's check it out. I'm going to check my browser to see if I can actually get to it. So here is the application. As you recall, Hello World was there. And if I do a refresh or press Enter, uh, Hello World is still working. So even though switching back into the Eclipse editor, you can see I don't have any apps running right now. There's nothing in Eclipse that is active. The only thing active right now is this guy that's at the command prompt, the jar file. So that's why the browser is now bringing up hello world. So this is what you would deploy to a server, this jar file. And so if your, if your server has Java installed, it can run Java files. So we met our goal. We were able to deploy a jar file to another directory and run it from the command prompt. So if my laptop were a fantastic high-end server somewhere on a rack in a data center, Hello World would now be visible on whatever port that server is using. So that's how to create a jar file and manually deploy it to another computer.
So as you can see, there's a lot more ahead of us. We're trying to develop real-world applications in Java and Spring Boot, not just Hello World. So we learned a little bit about Maven here, and the next few videos we're going to learn some things about MVC patterns and Beans and REST APIs and a lot more to come. So stick with me, and I'll help you become a software developer.